Introducing Brant Pinvidic, the master of the three-minute pitch. In the fast-paced world of Hollywood and beyond, success often hinges on the ability to captivate an audience and sell an idea in record time. Few understand this better than Brant Pinvidic, a seasoned veteran of the entertainment industry with over two decades of experience in pitching and persuasion. With a career that spans from aspiring filmmaker to accomplished pitch coach, Pinvidic has honed his craft to perfection. His secret? The three-minute pitch, a concise and compelling presentation that has proven time and again to win over even the most skeptical of audiences. Join us as we delve into the fascinating journey of Brant Pinvidic, exploring the insights, techniques, and strategies behind his groundbreaking approach to pitching. From Hollywood boardrooms to corporate offices, Pinvidic's methods have revolutionized the art of persuasion, empowering individuals to convey their ideas with clarity, impact, and unparalleled effectiveness. Brant Pinvidic's journey into the world of pitching began in Hollywood, where he spent over two decades immersed in the entertainment industry. Starting from humble beginnings as an aspiring filmmaker, Pinvidic quickly realized that success in Hollywood wasn't just about talent. It was about the ability to sell ideas effectively. As he navigated the competitive landscape of Hollywood, Pinvidic found himself pitching ideas to studio executives, producers, and decision-makers on a daily basis. Each pitch presented a unique opportunity to showcase his creativity and persuade others to invest in his projects. However, Pinvidic soon discovered that the traditional approach to pitching, long-winded presentations filled with complex details, often fell flat. He observed that decision-makers were inundated with pitches and had limited time and attention spans. As a result, he knew he needed to find a better way to capture their interest and make his ideas stand out. Drawing from his experiences and observations, Pinvidic developed a revolutionary approach to pitching, the three-minute pitch. He realized that condensing his ideas into a brief, focused presentation allowed him to capture attention quickly and communicate his message effectively. Over time, Pinvidic refined his pitching technique, identifying the essential elements that resonated with audiences and compelled them to take action. He emphasized the importance of clarity, storytelling, and emotional engagement in crafting a successful pitch. As Pinvidic's reputation grew, so did his success rate. He became known for his ability to sell ideas in record time, securing deals for over 300 TV and movie projects with his signature three-minute pitches. His approach revolutionized the way pitching was done in Hollywood, inspiring countless others to adopt his methods. Today, Brant Pinvidic is recognized as a leading authority on pitching, sought after by Fortune 100 CEOs, entrepreneurs, and business leaders for his expertise. Through his coaching and workshops, he continues to empower individuals to master the art of persuasion and achieve success in their endeavors. In these insights, you'll uncover 1. The significance of three minutes in persuading a contemporary audience. 2. Strategies for maximizing the impact within those three crucial minutes. 3. An intriguing concept known as the butt funnel and its relevance in effective communication. Imagine yourself standing at the threshold of a high-stakes meeting, ready to present your groundbreaking idea, innovative product, or game-changing service to a room full of potential investors, customers, or collaborators. You're brimming with confidence, knowing that what you have to offer is truly exceptional. However, there's a significant hurdle to overcome. Your audience is largely unaware of your offering and its potential value. To complicate matters, they may be skeptical, jaded by a constant barrage of information and advertisements vying for their attention. In today's hyperconnected, fast-paced world, attention spans are fleeting, and patience is scarce. People are bombarded with a constant stream of stimuli, making it challenging to capture and maintain their interest. Gone are the days when lengthy PowerPoint presentations filled with flashy animations and verbose explanations could sway an audience. Today, simplicity reigns supreme, and brevity is paramount. Enter the three-minute rule, a concept that underscores the critical importance of conciseness and clarity in communication. Within the span of just three minutes, you must convey the essence of your message, capture your audience's attention, and persuade them of the value proposition you're offering. This brief time frame is not merely a guideline. It's a mandate, dictating the trajectory of your pitch and shaping your audience's perception of your proposal. While you may have meticulously crafted a detailed presentation, 
complete with charts, graphs, and statistics. The reality is that your audience's decision-making process is largely influenced by their initial impression, often formed within the first few minutes of your presentation. Therefore, your ability to distill your message down to its core components and deliver it with clarity and conviction is paramount to your success. By adhering to the three-minute rule, you demonstrate respect for your audience's time and attention, recognizing the importance of cutting through the noise and delivering a compelling message that resonates with them on a visceral level. Whether you're pitching a new product, seeking investment for your startup, or presenting a proposal to potential partners, embracing brevity and clarity can significantly enhance your chances of success. In essence, the three-minute rule serves as a litmus test for the effectiveness of your pitch, a make-or-break moment that can determine the outcome of your presentation. Will you seize the opportunity to captivate and persuade your audience within this brief window of opportunity? Or will you risk losing their interest and credibility by succumbing to verbosity and complexity? The choice is yours, and the implications are profound. Consider the intricate dynamics at play when your pitch extends beyond the three-minute mark. Picture yourself in the midst of a high-stakes presentation, where you meticulously outline your business venture to a panel of decision-makers from a potential partner organization. Despite the length of your pitch stretching to an hour, you skillfully maintain their engagement and interest from start to finish. However, the success of your pitch doesn't culminate with their approval alone. In the corporate landscape, decisions often require the consensus of various stakeholders, each with their own set of priorities and concerns. These decision-makers, such as legal and financial teams, wield considerable influence over the fate of your proposal. Now, envision the aftermath of your lengthy presentation. Even if your audience leaves the room impressed, they face a formidable challenge, distilling the intricate details of your hour-long discourse into a concise and persuasive message for their colleagues. In the fast-paced corridors of business, time is a scarce commodity, and casual encounters rarely afford the luxury of lengthy explanations. Consider a scenario where one of your audience members, tasked with pitching your idea to their legal department, encounters a skeptical colleague in passing. In such fleeting interactions, brevity is paramount. With only a few minutes to spare, they must convey the essence of your proposal succinctly. Yet, navigating the labyrinth of complex ideas presented in your hour-long pitch proves to be a daunting task. Had your presentation adhered to the three-minute rule, the outcome might have been vastly different. By distilling your message into a concise and memorable format, you would have equipped your audience with a powerful tool for advocacy. In brief encounters, such as impromptu conversations or elevator pitches, your message would have resonated more effectively, leaving a lasting impression on skeptical colleagues like Jerry from Legal. In essence, the three-minute rule serves as a guiding principle for effective communication in the modern business landscape. By embracing brevity and clarity, you empower your audience to convey your message with impact, even in the most fleeting of encounters. You don't have to cram every detail into your pitch. Sure, aiming for a concise three-minute pitch sounds great in theory. But can you realistically cover all the essential information in such a short time frame? It may seem daunting at first, but the key is to recognize the crucial difference between what you think you need to say and what you actually need to communicate during your pitch. The trap many fall into is the belief that every intricate detail of their venture must be articulated. Consider this scenario. You're an entrepreneur seeking investment for your startup. Naturally, you're tempted to divulge every aspect of your company, its purpose, operations, methodologies, and more. With your comprehensive knowledge of the business, every detail seems interconnected, forming a complex web of information. Consequently, you feel compelled to convey this complexity to your audience, leading to an exhaustive hour-long presentation that risks losing their interest. However, in reality, most of these details are superfluous to your audience, especially at the initial pitching stage. Remember, the primary goal of your pitch is to capture their interest and persuade them to delve deeper into your venture. Your audience doesn't need a deep dive into the intricacies right away. Instead, focus on conveying the overarching concept of your business in a compelling manner that piques their curiosity. Once you've succeeded in capturing their attention and curiosity, they'll naturally seek more information and details. This is the opportune moment to delve into the specifics during follow-up discussions or Q&A sessions. 
Attempting to inundate your audience with intricate details from the outset risks overwhelming them and obscuring your core message. In the upcoming sections, we'll explore strategies to prioritize and streamline your pitch, ensuring that you effectively engage your audience and guide them towards further exploration of your venture. I want to extend a heartfelt thank you to each and every one of you for being part of the Uplifting Books Summary community. Your support and engagement mean the world to us. Remember, your presence and interaction fuel our motivation to keep sharing insightful book summaries. So, please stay until the end for more thought-provoking nuggets. Don't forget to hit that like, share, and subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, so you'll be the first to know when I release the next impactful book summary. Thank you for being an integral part of our journey towards growth and enlightenment. Crafting a compelling three-minute pitch entails tackling four pivotal questions. What is it? How does it work? Are you sure? And can you do it? While this might seem straightforward in theory, executing it effectively requires careful planning and strategic communication. Firstly, addressing the question, what is it, involves clearly articulating the essence of your proposition. Whether it's a product, service, or business idea, your audience needs to grasp its fundamental concept. This entails defining its purpose, value proposition, and potential impact. For instance, if you're pitching a new software application, you'd explain its core functionality, target users, and unique selling points. Next, you delve into, how does it work? This is where you provide a brief overview of the mechanics behind your proposition. You outline its key features, functionalities, and any technological or operational aspects that distinguish it from alternatives. Using the software application example, you might outline its user interface, functionality workflow, and integration capabilities. As you make assertions about your proposition, it's crucial to substantiate them. This leads to addressing the question, are you sure? Here, you provide evidence, data, or testimonials to validate your claims and build credibility. This could include market research findings, customer testimonials, or success stories from pilot tests. For the software application, you might present user feedback, performance metrics, or market demand projections. However, even with a compelling idea and evidence of its viability, your audience will still have concerns about execution. Hence, you must address the question, can you do it? This involves highlighting your team's expertise, resources, and strategic plan for implementation. You showcase your track record, relevant experience, and any partnerships or resources that support your ability to execute the proposition successfully. By thoroughly addressing these four questions, you equip your audience with the essential information they need to evaluate your proposition. In doing so, you increase the likelihood of capturing their interest and gaining their support. In the subsequent sections, we'll explore effective strategies for crafting each component of your pitch to ensure maximum impact within the constrained timeframe. The questions addressed in your pitch serve as gateways to explore a broader range of topics, allowing you to delve deeper and provide more insightful responses. By interpreting these questions creatively, you can uncover hidden dimensions and offer richer insights that resonate with your audience. For instance, when responding to the question, what is it? Within the context of your pitch, consider expanding beyond a simple description. Your audience may be interested in understanding not only the basic functionality but also the underlying philosophy, the intended impact, and the unique value proposition of your offering. By elaborating on these aspects, you can paint a more vivid picture and capture their imagination more effectively. Similarly, exploring the question, how does it work, prompts you to delve into the mechanics and intricacies of your proposition. Rather than just outlining the operational process, consider addressing potential variations, scalability factors, and technological innovations that contribute to its functionality. By providing a comprehensive overview, you can instill confidence in your audience regarding the feasibility and robustness of your solution. Addressing skepticism and uncertainty, encapsulated in the question, are you sure, requires you to bolster your claims with concrete evidence and validation. This could involve presenting market research data, customer testimonials, or performance metrics that demonstrate the viability and reliability of your proposition. By substantiating your assertions, you can instill trust and credibility, thereby overcoming doubts and objections. Lastly, 
demonstrating your capability to execute, as encapsulated in, can you do it? extends beyond mere assurance to encompass your track record, expertise, and strategic approach. Your audience may seek insights into your past achievements, leadership style, and problem-solving abilities to assess your readiness for the proposed endeavor. By showcasing your competence and resilience, you can inspire confidence and foster buy-in from your audience. By embracing a creative approach and anticipating ancillary questions, you can enrich your pitch with depth and resonance. This enables you to engage your audience on a deeper level, compelling them to invest their attention, resources, or support in your proposition. In the following section, we'll explore strategies for crafting inventive responses to these questions, enhancing the impact and effectiveness of your pitch. Crafting an impactful pitch requires strategic selection and presentation of information. Let's delve deeper into the process using the Pirate Master TV show pitch as an illustrative example from the mid-2000s. When considering, what is it? The fundamental question of your pitch. Remember to highlight not just the surface-level description, but also any compelling backstory or notable personalities involved. In the case of Pirate Master, emphasizing Mark Burnett's track record as a successful producer added significant weight to the pitch. Moving on to, how does it work? This is where you provide insight into the mechanics and unique selling points of your idea. For Pirate Master, Detailing the format of the show, its distinct challenges, and potential audience appeal would be essential. Balancing brevity with clarity is key here. As you address, are you sure? Focus on reinforcing the credibility of your proposal. This might involve citing relevant data, testimonials, or previous successes related to your idea. In the context of Pirate Master, Showcasing Burnett's proven track record in reality television would instill confidence in the project's potential for success. Finally, in addressing, can you do it? Emphasize your capacity to execute the proposed idea effectively. Highlight any relevant expertise, resources, or strategic plans that position you as capable of bringing the concept to fruition. In the case of Pirate Master, Burnett's demonstrated ability to produce hit reality shows served as a strong indicator of his capability. Throughout the process, it's crucial to prioritize clarity, relevance, and engagement. Every sentence in your pitch should contribute meaningfully to capturing and maintaining your audience's attention. By striking a balance between conciseness and substance, you can create a compelling pitch that leaves a lasting impression. Crafting a captivating opening for your pitch is essential to engage your audience and set the tone for the rest of your presentation. While your primary focus is on conveying valuable information about your pitch, the opening serves as a hook to grab your audience's attention and draw them into your narrative. To create an effective opening, reflect on the moment of inspiration or realization that sparked your interest in the idea, product, service, or company you're pitching. This aha moment is the foundation of your passion and conviction, making it a powerful tool to connect with your audience on a personal level. Consider the context of your pitch and how you can tailor your opening to resonate with your audience. Think about what aspects of your pitch are most likely to pique their interest or appeal to their emotions. By understanding your audience's needs, interests, and preferences, you can tailor your opening to make a meaningful impact. In Brandt's pitch for the TV show Bar Rescue, he recognized the unique combination of personality and expertise embodied by host John Taffer. By highlighting Taffer's captivating persona and deep industry knowledge, Brandt captured the attention of his audience and laid the groundwork for his pitch. When crafting your opening, keep it concise and focused, aiming to convey your key message in just a few sentences. Avoid overwhelming your audience with unnecessary details or backstory. Instead, focus on the most compelling aspects of your pitch that will resonate with them. Ultimately, your opening should set the stage for the rest of your pitch, leaving your audience eager to learn more about what you have to offer. By tapping into your aha moment and tailoring your opening to your audience's interests, you can create a memorable and impactful introduction that sets the tone for a successful presentation. Your pitch opening serves as the gateway to engaging your audience, but it's the callback that cements your credibility and leaves a lasting impression. Think back to the moment when you first realized the potential of your idea, product, service, or company that aha moment that ignited your belief in its success. Then, 
Consider the pivotal experience or observation that solidified your conviction and transformed it into unwavering confidence. In Brandt's pitch for Bar Rescue, he artfully integrated a callback that underscored the credibility and expertise of host John Taffer. After introducing Taffer's unique blend of personality and professional knowledge, Brandt shared an anecdote that vividly illustrated Taffer's industry acumen. Taffer's explanation of a butt funnel, a strategic design element in bars, not only showcased his expertise but also left a memorable impression on Brandt, affirming his belief in Taffer's insights. Similarly, you can leverage a personal anecdote or experience to reinforce your pitch's opening narrative and bolster your credibility. Reflect on a moment when you encountered a decisive validation or revelation that reinforced your conviction in your idea or venture. Whether it's a quirky detail, a profound insight, or a transformative experience, this callback serves as a compelling testament to the value and potential of your pitch. As you craft your pitch, weave in this callback seamlessly, allowing it to amplify the impact of your opening and leave a lasting impression on your audience. By sharing a concise and compelling anecdote that resonates with your audience, you'll strengthen their connection to your pitch and enhance their confidence in your vision. Expanding on this, you could delve deeper into the process of selecting the right anecdote for your callback. Consider elements such as relevance, relatability, and resonance with your audience. Additionally, explore different storytelling techniques to make your anecdote engaging and memorable. Whether it's through humor, suspense, or emotion, find ways to captivate your audience and reinforce your pitch's key message. Furthermore, emphasize the importance of authenticity in crafting your callback. Your anecdote should be genuine and reflective of your journey, adding a personal touch to your pitch. Authenticity builds trust and credibility with your audience, making them more receptive to your message. In summary, the callback is a crucial component of your pitch, providing a memorable reinforcement of your opening narrative. By carefully selecting and delivering a compelling anecdote, you can enhance the impact of your pitch and leave a lasting impression on your audience. In the realm of storytelling, the all is lost moment is a crucial plot device where characters face their lowest point, often encountering seemingly insurmountable obstacles. This narrative technique, rooted in tension and conflict, is not limited to fiction but can be applied effectively in various communication contexts, including pitching ideas or projects. When crafting a pitch, incorporating an all is lost moment involves candidly acknowledging and addressing significant challenges or setbacks related to the idea being presented. By openly discussing obstacles, whether past or potential, the presenter demonstrates transparency and authenticity, which are essential for building trust and credibility with the audience. To create a compelling all is lost moment in a pitch, the presenter should first identify the most pressing issues or concerns that could hinder the success of the idea or project. This might include technical hurdles, market uncertainties, financial constraints, or competitive pressures. Once these challenges are identified, the presenter should articulate them clearly and succinctly, ensuring that the audience understands the gravity of the situation. Following the acknowledgement of challenges, the presenter should pivot to discussing strategies, solutions, or mitigating measures that have been or will be implemented to address the obstacles. This transition demonstrates resilience, problem-solving skills, and a proactive approach to overcoming adversity, all of which are highly valued by investors, stakeholders, or decision-makers. Moreover, by preemptively addressing potential concerns, the presenter can alleviate skepticism and preemptive objections from the audience. This proactive stance not only strengthens the presenter's credibility but also fosters a sense of reassurance and confidence in the viability of the proposed idea or project. Ultimately, the all is lost moment serves as a narrative arc within the pitch, imbuing it with tension, drama, and resolution. By acknowledging challenges and presenting solutions, the presenter engages the audience on an emotional level, compelling them to invest their attention and consideration in the pitch's message. To craft a pitch that truly stands out, it's crucial to delve deeper into the nuances of your hook and edge, ensuring they resonate powerfully with your audience. Your hook is the heart of your pitch, representing the most captivating aspect of your idea or project. It should be something that immediately grabs attention and sparks curiosity, compelling your audience to lean in and engage with your message. To identify your hook, carefully review your content and pinpoint the most compelling and unique element that sets your idea apart. Once you've identified your hook, 
it's time to amplify its impact with your edge. Your edge provides a concrete example or anecdote that vividly illustrates the significance or effectiveness of your hook. It serves to bring your hook to life, making it tangible and relatable to your audience. Whether it's a compelling story, a striking statistic, or a memorable analogy, your edge should leave a lasting impression and reinforce the value of your pitch. When integrating your hook and edge into your pitch, it's essential to consider the flow and structure of your presentation. Rather than leading with your hook, gradually build momentum by first establishing context and laying out the foundation of your idea. As you progress through your pitch, strategically introduce your hook at a pivotal moment when your audience is fully engaged and receptive. Follow it up with your edge, seamlessly transitioning from the conceptual to the concrete to drive home the impact of your message. Furthermore, ensure that your hook and edge align closely with the needs, interests, and priorities of your audience. Tailor your message to resonate with their specific pain points, aspirations, and objectives, demonstrating how your idea or project addresses their concerns and delivers tangible benefits. By effectively leveraging your hook and edge in this manner, you can capture and hold your audience's attention, leaving a lasting impression that inspires action and engagement. In summary, your hook and edge are powerful tools for crafting a compelling pitch that captivates your audience and leaves a lasting impression. By carefully selecting and integrating these elements into your presentation, you can elevate the impact of your message and increase the likelihood of achieving your desired outcomes. Final Summary In today's fast-paced and skeptical world, mastering the art of the concise pitch is essential for success. Brant Penvidic's approach emphasizes the importance of keeping your pitch under three minutes, ensuring it's both impactful and memorable. This condensed time frame forces you to distill your message down to its core essence, focusing on what truly matters to your audience. To craft an effective pitch, you must address four fundamental questions. What is it? How does it work? Are you sure? And can you do it? These questions serve as guideposts, helping you structure your pitch to provide clarity and build credibility. By answering these questions succinctly and persuasively, you lay the foundation for a compelling presentation. Moreover, incorporating key elements such as an opening, a callback, an all-is-lost moment, a hook, and an edge can elevate your pitch to the next level. Your opening sets the stage by sharing your personal connection to the idea or product you're pitching, capturing your audience's attention from the start. A well-executed callback reinforces your opening, creating a cohesive narrative that resonates with your audience. Furthermore, the all is lost moment allows you to preemptively address any skepticism or doubts your audience may have, demonstrating your transparency and problem-solving abilities. Additionally, incorporating a hook and an edge adds intrigue and excitement to your pitch, leaving a lasting impression on your audience. In practice, assembling these elements into a cohesive pitch requires careful planning and refinement. Begin with your opening to establish rapport and intrigue, then proceed to address the key questions in a clear and concise manner. Introduce your all is lost moment to demonstrate resilience and foresight, followed by delivering your hook and edge to captivate your audience's imagination. Finally, reinforce your message with a compelling callback and confidently answer the question, can you do it, to leave a lasting impact. By following these guidelines and continuously refining your pitch, you can effectively communicate your ideas, products, or services in a way that resonates with your audience and inspires action. Thank you for sticking around till the end and for your ongoing support. I truly appreciate you being a cherished member of our community. See you on next one.